historical geology is like being a detective. You've got to look for many clues in the environment and then fit all the clues together to tell the story. I'm Pierre Freely. I'm a professional geoscientist, otherwise known as a dirt guy. My work is in investigating landscape evolution and the practical application is in understanding hazard and risk for any kind of human development project. I love where I live. Squamish, it's nested at the end of Howe Sound Fjord. It's surrounded by these iconic landforms. Squamish is dominated by Mount Garibaldi, which is a Pleistocene volcano. Volcanoes are very dangerous landforms. They not only erupt, but they also collapse. The people living in Squamish live in the valley bottom and the valley bottom is threatened by processes that come from those geological features. And as a consequence, we're forced to deal with hazards. Back in the distance on the other side of the Squamish here, this was an ice-filled valley. Telling the story of landscape evolution allows us to understand the history and then put things into context. This is a safe place, this is an unsafe place. It allows us to be informed and to make good decisions about where we might live or want to develop things. Reflecting on a, a book that I read recently, a biography of Alexander von Humboldt, he really argued that we can't just be rational in our science, we have to also be emotional. And for me, being in nature, it's cleansing. My work and my play often brings me in the forest that emotional attachment to place. I feel that's important because without that, we don't care for where we live. We won't care for our planet. Winning this award is pretty amazing. When I reflect back on the other people that have won this award, they're all phenomenal scientists and people that have been my mentors in my career. So to be kind of lumped in with the mix is a huge honor. My passion is driven by curiosity, so when I see things in the landscape, I want to understand them more deeply. Almost any landscape you go into in BC, there's a story to tell. And so I would want future geoscientists to be out there doing what they do and getting jazzed about it. <laughs>